Mi 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 Uh, I am putting together a video uh, about these two helmets here and the subsequent GoPro mounts that we have made for each of these helmets. This is the uh, O'Neill 10 SRS and the 5 SRS. We do pretty much have the entire lineup of O'Neill helmets. So we've got the 2, 3, 5, and 10 SRS. And then uh, the 2 SRS fits the Sierra ADV helmet. So the only one that we don't have in their lineup is the one SRS, but I think it's more of like a kid's helmet, um, at least kind of from what I saw on their website. So not sure if we'll get around to that, but we've got pretty much the major lineup of their helmets. Uh, so if you're looking for those, uh, look at the uh, description below and we'll uh, put a link down there. Uh, so that way you guys can get access to our website and um, you know, know where to find those. We make GoPro mounts specific to individual helmets uh, for the chin mounting position. So Cool thing about these, shit. The cool thing about these is that uh, they're specifically designed to the curvatures around all of the vents, um, to the angle, and everything is specific to the individual helmet. You can see this is a completely different mount. Uh, and not only are they made to the individual helmet, uh, mating surface, that's what you want to call it, uh, they are also made to incorporate a distance uh, from the helmet so that you can get a tilt back angle for your camera so that way you're not just looking at your handlebars and like 10 feet in front of the bike. You can actually see the horizon. So uh, our big boast is that you get the best point of view for your camera with our mounts. So like I was saying here, you can actually tilt this camera back here so that way you can actually get it level with the top of the viewport. Uh, we have made all of these mounts so that they uh, can fit at least the, uh, the GoPro Hero 9 with the media mod. Uh, this is hopefully the biggest camera that GoPro will ever make. This thing is enormous. Um, and when you put the media mod on it, it's even bigger. So uh, with that in mind, uh, it should fit like all of the other like I know Garmin makes an action camera, DJI makes one, the Insta360, right? All those should fit on here, assuming that they have the kind of standard mounting forks that you use for all of your action cameras. While I'm on the topic of the tilt back angle, uh, one of the things that I've learned from having mounted a ton of these is if you want a good like level view of the horizon, all you have to do uh, is tilt back the camera so that it's um, horizontal to the top of the viewing, like the eye port here. Because when you're standing in the attack position on your bike, you're basically your eyes are level with that point of view. So the camera should be looking in the same direction as that. And that's how we've designed all these mounts to be. That being said, if you're going to mount this camera different, we do incorporate these tick marks here around this side where you can um, use this as a visual indication of how far back your, your camera is tilted. And the reason that that might be useful is if you decide to mount this camera upside down, uh, which we've gotten questions in the past about whether or not you can uh, mount these upside down. Uh, and the answer is yes, you absolutely can. Uh, the one drawback to doing it this way is that if you were to look down, uh, the camera might hit you in the chest and, and tilt the camera up like that. Uh, so that's why we've uh, designed all of these to incorporate the upright mounting position so that it'll keep it kind of up and tucked out of the way but out of your line of sight. Um, it's just kind of a nice kind of all-around place to mount it because you get that depth of field from having it as low as possible while you still get the gimbal effect if it's still kind of the first person mounted on your head point of view. It's just my favorite place to mount a, a camera uh, on a helmet. All right so here you can see uh, how it's mounted up with the media mod and everything and it still fits in there nicely. You can get that good tilt back angle. The nice thing about chin mounting, and obviously this has nothing to do with our mount specifically, but it's just kind of a side benefit, is that when you have it mounted here, um, especially with the media mod because it picks up uh, focal reception really well, is that it's right in front of your mouth, so what you're saying gets <laughs> picked up a lot better. <laughs> Cal just dropped his phone on the floor, which is sad, but funny. Did it break? Okay. No, it's fine. We're good. I'm just Disaster averted. We get a lot of questions about how uh, these uh, mounts are, are mounted to the helmet. Uh, the answer is we use a double-sided mounting tape, 3M brand. It's 
really sturdy. Uh, these mounts uh, should all hold up to 20 pounds, uh, assuming that they're mounted right. It's also waterproof, so you don't really have to worry about getting it wet. You can just slap it on your helmet. It's good to go after that. The last thing I want to mention uh, is the reverse screw direction. Now, what we've gone and done is we've uh, put the screw in from right to left, and the reason being is because, uh, well, without the media mod on, the battery door uh, is on this side here. So when you're putting the screw in this way, it's hard to get the battery door open. So what we've done is we've gone and we've reversed that for ease of access, but then GoPro and all of their infinite wisdom decided that with the media mod, they were gonna make this notch cut out thing here uh, so that you would make it easier to get the screw in from this side. But we don't get to take advantage of that because it's, well, we flipped it. But you can still get a screw in here. It's not really a problem. It doesn't get in the way. It's just a little bit of a tight fit, but it still works with the media mod. It's not really a problem there. So I just wanted to point out uh, that these mounts are 3D printed. I don't know if you can tell uh, from the video, but that's how we make these. And it's the reason why we can create a product line for so many different mounts. Like we've got like 50 different mounts and then, you know, they're all different. Uh, it's a very kind of difficult problem to solve when you think of it from a logistics perspective. But one of the advantages that 3D printing gives us is that we have the ability to make uh, changes on demand. If we see something that we want to improve on, uh, we can do that on the fly. And in this case, uh, what we decided to do, uh, and we'll go back and do for all of the mounts that we've created in the past, and we'll continue to do for all the mounts uh, that we will create in the future, is we've uh, reinforced the mounting wings here on the outside, um, not just in the thickness of the overall um, outer tabs here, but also uh, through the neck here. And that just kind of reinforces the whole thing, makes it a lot sturdier. Um, and I just think it's gonna add to the longevity uh, of these mounts. That being said, uh, if you were ever in a situation where you did break one of these, we do have a lifetime warranty. Uh, so you can just hit us up on Instagram or something like that. Um, and just let us know, send us a picture of the mount and we'll send you a new one. But uh, for all the mounts going forward, uh, we're gonna be doing this new design. Um, and that's all thanks to the, the 3D printing uh, manufacturing method that we've been using. It just, gives us so much more flexibility across our entire product line. So I just wanna go over real quick uh, what you're gonna get when you buy one of our mounts, um, our sweet box. Uh, we spent a bunch of time trying to figure out what it was gonna look like. You're gonna get a mount, of course, that's gonna come with a set of uh, double-sided mounting tape already stuck to it. You're gonna get a couple of our cool stickers. You're going to get a screw, uh, and you're going to get an alcohol pad uh, and this is to clean the helmet uh, before you stick the mount on. And just real quick on the mounting of these mounts, uh, when you go to stick them to the helmet, it can be a little bit tricky. Uh, it's a little bit more tricky than you would expect just looking at it, but uh, what you're gonna wanna do is peel back on the mounting wings and when you go in and stick it and release it and then kind of press it down on the helmet. But before you do that, obviously clean the helmet, make sure it's all prepped and ready to go. Uh, but before you pull off the double-sided mounting uh, tape backing, seat it up to the helmet and just make sure that you understand where on the helmet it's supposed to go. This tape is extremely sticky, especially this kind of material that the helmets are kind of finished with. But what you're gonna wanna do uh, is Get it in there and make sure that it is uh, seated up where you, you know it's supposed to be. You know, pull back on the mounting tabs, put it in, and then release it. Uh, but what you don't want to do is get it in too far because if you uh, do that, it could be sticking out in the back. Uh, you want to make sure that it's in all the way so that it's not kind of stuck out or not on crooked. You want to make sure it's in, it's even, and then it's like sealed up all the way around. And then just make sure you press down really hard on the mounting wings. You should never have a problem with it. After that point, it should be stuck. Um, and if you want to remove it, just peel down on it um, and it'll, it'll peel up. Just something to think about uh, when you're going to mount these up to your helmet. We've had some people have them fall off and I think in most cases, that's just because they weren't mounted up perfectly. Now, these mounts are designed specifically to the helmet. And that means like every curvature. And so if you're not kind of perfectly on there, you're gonna get little gaps and it's just gonna make it so that the, the mounting tape doesn't do its job. So it's really important to get these mounted up right uh, the first time, otherwise you're just gonna make a mess. I think I've told you everything there is to know about these mounts and more. If you are interested in buying one of these uh, or for any other helmet, if you just happen to come across this video and you don't have any of these Emil helmets, like I said, we've got like 50 on our website. So check those out. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Like this video, subscribe to our channel if you like the content that we're putting out. 
check us out on Instagram because uh, all of our clips are used. Uh, we're using these. Uh, so if you want to get kind of a feel for what the perspective is like from that point of view, check out our Instagram. Uh, you'll see a lot of clips there of us doing all kinds of, of uh, hooligan shit. We're also on TikTok. That's right. Under 15, go to TikTok. Uh, what is our, uh, it's like uh, 30 to 45 is uh, Instagram and then like 45 plus is YouTube. So that's where you want to be. Uh, if, if you're interested in our content, those are the channels you want to subscribe on. <laughs> Check us out.